let me tell you a story about census. Nigeria has had a long history of census takings that spans over 100 years. So far, the country has had about nine census counts. These are 1911, 1921, 1952, 1963, 1963, has been chosen as April 2023. And the Commission has put in so much preparatory efforts to digitalize and transform the process from what it used to be to what is likely to be the most credible census to be taken in Nigeria. These are not just mere words. In the last six years, preparatory measures have been put in place to make this a reality. One of the first physical process that was carried out by the National Population Commission as a foundational block to the proposed 2023 census was the Enumeration Area Demarcation, EAD. It is the division of the whole country into small, small areas that two enumerators can cover within the census period. What it means is that the whole country will be divided. Every part of this country will belong to one enumeration area or the other, whether it is inhabited or not. Without enumeration area demarcation, enumerators will not know where to start or where to stop their enumeration. So it's a, a guide for them. It will restrict them to their particular enumeration area for them to work. That way, we will not have any gaps, we will not have any overlap. That means we will not leave some people uncounted or count some people twice. And the enumeration area dimension also helps us to, for logistics purposes, from there we will know the number of field staff we are going to take, the number of materials and all that. Enumerators went to every nook and cranny of the country counting all kinds of houses. We're going to be counting all the houses in the local government and every local government. We're going to be taking notes of all the public buildings, schools, hospitals, health centers. We're going to be taking notes of roads that are tired, roads that are not tired. We're going to be taking notes of roads that are just walkways. We're going to be taking, care of, uh, taking notes of every building, whether it's completed or not completed, whether it's a shanty, whatever the condition it is in. Aware of the fact that there were various means to access the different parts of the country, the Commission was prepared to face this task. In some other areas, motorbikes were acquired to reach difficult terrains. When these houses are marked and demarcated within an immigration area, the information is put in a device called the Personal Digital Assistant, PDA, which is given to every enumerator. The device sends the information to the enumerator's dashboard. Progress of work done, what number of households are they supposed to cover, how many have they covered. It also goes ahead to tell you what is the average time of interviews in each of the states. It also shows to tell you that are they going to be able to complete the work in the uh, number of days that is uh, assigned to, for the job. After this digital marking, the result is that all houses, structures and more can now be identified through satellite imagery. Apart from the geo-referencing, there is more to the protective characteristics of the EAD. EAD is geofenced, which means that you cannot transfer the information from one demarcation area to another. The information is protected. How is this useful during census enumeration? This presupposes that no enumerator can allocate an area's census results to another area and he cannot sit in a place and allocate figures as he or she is being monitored through satellite imaging on the enumerator's dashboard. After the EAD, the National Population Commission went ahead to conduct an EAD update, which was a further verification of the initial exercise. This was done in selected local government areas. Within this period of the EAD update, 
there were two census pretests to assess the validity of the records that had already been imputed in the census dashboard. Now to check the adequacy of this very first level of preparation, that is creation of enrichment area uh, maps, we need to carry out a test. And this is why we conducted the first census pretest. And this was conducted in June 2021. The next phase of the preparatory process to the April 2023 census was the trial census, which was conducted between July 11 and 30th, 2022. The trial census, which is a dress rehearsal of what the actual census would look like, also had as part of its activity the building, numbering and household listing before the enumerator's interviews with respondents. One of the respondents for the trial census was President Muhammad Buhari, who was so elated to receive the chairman of the National Population Commission, al Haji Nasir Isa Kwara, and his team right there in his hometown in Daura, Katsina State. The commission is leaving no stone unturned to make sure that the April 2023 exercise produces credible results that is acceptable to all. As part of moves to achieve a smooth communication flow during the exercise, the Commission launched a Situation Room, which has a digital call centre that will be active 24-7 during the actual census process. The Situation Room became active on May 18, 2022. Every call that comes in is either attended to by the call centre operators if it is a call that will be referred to the chairman for response, it will be referred to the chairman in his office for him to respond. If it is a call that the director census need to attend to, it will be referred to her to attend to it. If it is the census manager, it will refer. If it is the director Kato, it will be referred. The National Population Commission recognizes the importance of getting Nigerians buy into the census process. In the last two years, the chairman, Nasir Isakwara himself, has led his team of management staff on advocacy visits to former heads of state, governors, traditional rulers, security operatives and other stakeholders to convince them about the seriousness and commitment of the Commission to actualize a credible e-census. After seeing the preparatory work that has been done to have a successful exercise, these principles have fully endorsed the process, making the advocacy visits fruitful. The census should lead on to re-demarcation of constituencies, which we have run away from since 2006. And the most important, the population census provides statistical data for economic planning. It is something that we place utmost priority and we've given all cooperation. You may also wish to come and talk to us at the governor's forum. I want you to know you have a good, big job ahead of you. I pray you do it well, and I pray it's accepted by all. Data, 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 it's everything. Statistics is everything. We don't have data, you can't plan. On behalf of the FCG administration, I wish to assure you of our maximum support. And this support will be provided along the lines that you've already enumerated will provide publicity uh, because it's very important. What I would like to say to my people is that they should give their own mess more cooperation because it will help us. We are all working to achieve the same uh, objective. This is a national call, so anytime you come calling, we are not worried and will provide necessary security and support for your job. One of the leading partners of the preparatory activities to the upcoming national census in Nigeria is the UNFPA. This international body has supported the National Population Commission very strongly in training of its staff for the different phases of the exercise. Country representative of the UNFPA, Ula Mola, has also worked closely with al Haji Nasser Isakwara on many of the initiatives of the commission. The census is long overdue and it is time that we understand what does the population look like in Nigeria. So when we know that, that will be transformation and, and it will be a key driver to deliver the Nigerian development plan.
therefore welcome you all, Your Excellencies. Thursday, August 11, 2022, was very significant in the life of the Commission as it held its first National Stakeholders Conference and public presentation of the 2023 Census Strategic Document. The importance this administration places on sustainable development. The event was graced by His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, ministers, legislators, governors, traditional rulers and members of religious faiths. The diplomatic community was also well represented and ably led by the United Nations resident coordinator in Nigeria, Matthias Shmale. Each representative had good and acceptable messages for the stakeholders, raising hopes of a potentially successful national population census exercise. Nigeria is regarded as the most populous black nation on earth with an annual population growth rate of 3.2% and is expected to be the third largest country in the world by 2050. Therefore, the summit is a necessary first step towards mobilizing national and international support for the Nigerian census. Undertaking regu regular and credible census is a development priority for all member states of the UN, and it is a key indicator in the SDG results framework. Achievement of the 2030 Development Agenda and the related SDGs depends on the availability of reliable, robust, accessible and timely disaggregated data on population size, growth distribution and characteristics of populations at all levels. A population and housing census plays a vital role in producing official statistics and providing the fundamental information I've mentioned. Now, the 19 and resident and five non-resident UN agencies working in your country to support the government of Nigeria, and the aim is to achieve national development priorities, of course, the SDGs and other internationally agreed treaty obligations. The UNFPA has engaged a chief technical advisor on census, who is embedded, in fact, in the National Population Commission to support this process. Let me reiterate the commitment of the National Assembly to the welfare of Nigerians through the enactment of people-oriented laws. To this end, the National Assembly will develop an action plan to work in synergy with the executive to facilitate the smooth conduct of the 2023 census project to generate evidence-based data that will aid in planning with the delivery of dividends of democracy to our country. Today, indeed, this present administration has proven that they will leave a very formidable legacy for the general public of Nigeria. Today marks another confidence for our dear nation that truly, truly, we can have a very formidable hope today actually indicates that our people in government are working. The 2023 population and the housing census marks a major milestone in our country, considering the last census was in 2006, about 16 years ago. As a key pillar of Nigeria's development planning process, especially in driving an inclusive and coordinated strategy towards accelerated growth. The 2023 census, and by extension, today's event is both long overdue and timely. It comes at a time when Nigeria is dealing with a myriad of economic and security challenges that require targeted planning to cushion the effects of the negative shocks that have hit our economy which was already weakened by the pandemic, inflation, inf pandemic, and inflation has continued to erode the fiscal gains in recent times and negative spillovers from the war in Ukraine has further triggered tighter financial con conditions. I want to assure Honorable Nasir Issa Kwara, the Director General of the National Population Commission and his team, that my colleagues and I are completely on board 
and eagerly waiting wait the resolutions from this submit. Chairman of the National Population Commission, Isa Kwara, laid the foundation of the summit, which is a major part in the journey to the 2023 census. It provides us with a unique opportunity to proactively engage the Nigerian people and get some positive feedback and uh, invaluable cooperation and support so that together we can ensure the successful conduct of a credible and acceptable census next year. The specific objectives of this summit are one, to create public awareness on the conduct of 2023 population and housing census, including its imperatives, methodologies, and timelines. To also promote a robust and informed national conversation on the processes and procedures for the 2023 population and housing census. To solicit cooperation and support of key stakeholders for the census. To convince citizens to submit themselves for enumeration purposes during the 2023 population and housing census and to provide a platform to offer clarification and receive feedback and suggestions on salient issues and considerations uh, related to the conduct of the 2023 population and housing census. President Muhammad Buhari, while opening the summit, underscored the importance of a credible and digital census to Nigeria. It has become imperative to convince, to convene this summit to promote a robust and informed national conversation on the processes and procedures of the 2023 census and to convince citizens on the need to submit themselves for enumeration purposes during the 2023 census. The country's inability to conduct a population census in the last 16 years has created an information vacuum as the data from the last census conducted in 2006 has been rendered out of date for planning purposes. It has therefore become imperative for the nation to conduct another national census to produce a new set of demographic and socio-economic data that will provide the basis for national planning and sustainable development. The president, alongside other guests, later unveiled the 2023 census strategic document. Unveiling of the population and census. This stakeholder summit also featured plenary sessions with very informed resource persons both from the commission and the academia, emphasizing to all guests in the room the need to use their influence to galvanize all persons living in Nigeria to support this exercise. Of course, questions were asked and answered. The simple question I just want to ask is in the area of uh, the, where we have a uh, hard to count indices. I want to find out because the issue we have been having with uh, previous censuses is the issue of HEP and age uh, shifting. People deliberately falsifying their ages, or some people unintentionally are uh, reporting ages, maybe. AG sending is zeros and five. It's called age heaping or digital preference. People prefer ages that end in zero or five or ages that end in with um, even digits, even numbers, rather than odd numbers. It's a characteristic of African data. We find data everywhere, but especially African data, where people don't know their age. 
in spite of the fact that age is such an important variable, and in spite of the fact that people, um, the enumerators have been trained on how to collect age as near accurately as possible, we still have those errors. But we have um, methods of estimating uh, errors in age data. And we have methods of smoothening age so that it will appear normal, to normalize it. Those methods have been developed by United Nations. And it's, uh, software is, uh, is available everywhere. A great philosopher once said, next to war, census is acknowledged worldwide as the biggest peacetime administrative activity in terms of mobilizing men and materials in any country. It is time for Nigerians to stand up and be counted. Count and be counted. At this critical time in our country, let those words sink in.